So what is non-24-hour sleep-wake disorder? So Paul, uh, this disorder is one of many circadian rhythm disorders or disorders of the biological clock. Many of our internal rhythms adhere to a 24-hour pattern. Uh, this is not an accident. This is very intricately controlled by biological clocks. And of course, there's a master clock called the suprachiasmatic nucleus that controls many of these rhythms such that they adhere to a 24-hour clock. Let's take a look at a brief video that explains this process. During the day, light enters the eye and activates specialized photoreceptor cells called intrinsically photosensitive retinal ganglion cells. The activated cells then transmit action potentials via the monosynaptic retinohypothalamic tract to the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the anterior hypothalamus. These bilaterally paired clusters of approximately 50,000 neurons on each side of the third ventricle serve as a master circadian pacemaker, synchronizing circadian rhythms throughout the body. By activating the specialized photoreceptors in the ganglion cell layer of the retina, photic information about the timing of the Earth's daily light-dark cycle is transduced by the suprachiasmatic nucleus into autonomic and neuroendocrine signals which regulate the timing of peripheral clocks throughout the body, including tissues such as the heart, gastrointestinal tract, pancreas, liver, and other areas of the brain. In the lack of this control, interestingly, what happens is that some of these rhythms may adhere to a 25-hour clock or longer than 24-hour rhythm. Mm -hmm. And that's actually not very adaptive. And we think that it's important for this control to occur very intricately so that all these rhythms are controlled vis-a-vis -vis one another. Mm -hmm to optimize our functioning during the course of the day to sleep well. In this particular disorder, there's a greater than 24-hour length to the circadian rhythm. So, individuals begin to live a 25-hour rhythm. Imagine, Paul, on a 24-hour planet, mm -hmm. living a 25-hour day. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't work. Tell us about any kind of prescription medications that are available for non-24. So, as you know, Paul, there's a, the only medication indicated for this disorder by the FDA is Tazemeltion. Uh, Tazemeltion is a dual MT1, MT2 melatonin receptor agonist. So it's active at the, at the critical melatonin receptors at the level of the suprachiasmatic nucleus, mm -hmm. uh, which then uh, are important, we think, in governing circadian rhythms. Uh, so the medication seems to actually be uh, active in, in, in a way which corrects the underlying neurophysiologic abnormality or circadian abnormality, which we think causes this disorder. Mm -hmm.